On the internet, there seems like there's an endless void of information about how to write. There's stuff about good narrative structure, developing three-dimensional characters, finding meaningful themes, writing compelling scenes and chapters, or showing, not telling. But there's almost nothing about how you actually come up with that story idea in the first place. In this video, I'll give you an in-depth look at my Notion brainstorming tool for writers, inspired by screenwriter and author Eric Borg. Of course, links are down below in the description where you can access it. So Eric has an entire book dedicated to this subject, which is aptly named The Idea. In it, he explains the seven elements of a viable story idea. So essentially the entire time he's talking about what makes a idea worth pursuing. But there's a very small section in the book about how Eric actually comes up with new and original ideas himself. In the book, he writes, what if I don't have any idea of what I want to write about, but I know I want to write something? Then I make it my job to start noticing what I'm interested in. I actually have a document on my computer with several columns full of random fragments that have crossed my mind that I might want to write about. One column is full of people, occupations, life situations, types of potential characters. Another column contains topics that are part of life on planet Earth. A third column is for arenas or worlds of activity. Another is for locations and settings. When I'm in the mood of looking for what I want to write next, I might set aside 15 minutes a day and decide to generate five ideas during that time. I take an item from one column, pair it with an item from another column and see if anything comes. I'll go down those other columns one at a time, looking at how I might combine my first item whenever any of those other items and what that might lead to. If I had to write a story that combined aliens with baseball, what might it be? Then what about aliens and genetic medicine? Aliens and hippie environmentalists? So today I would like to share my version of Eric's tool that I've created in Notion for you. So if you don't know what Notion is, it's essentially a powerful note-taking app that allows its users to create custom setups. And I've created a custom setup that you can duplicate into your own workspace and use out of the box. So it's a very simple template. Essentially, we have three sections. We have on the left-hand side, uh, the writing exercises, including Eric Bork's kind of multiple columns of story fragment ideas. We have a brainstorming note, which is where we actually capture those three or five ideas we're trying to come up with every day. And then at the very bottom, we have a premise list. And this has been taken from John Truby's uh, book about writing. And essentially he talks about having a wish list or a premise list, which is just an archive of all of the potential log lines or stories that you might wanna pursue in the future. So what does this look like in practice? Let's say I've sat down for the day, set aside 15 minutes as Erica said, and I wanna come up with five ideas. So first of all, I'm gonna create a new brainstorming note and you'll see this opens up as a sort of side panel on the right hand side. And that's convenient because now on the left hand side, I can still access all of the different columns within this story element section. So what I might do is come and set my first bullet point ready to go. And I'm gonna take the first element in the character section, which is a pro wrestler. And I'm gonna go across the different categories and look at them and think what would be interesting to compare it to. So straight away, I'm looking at the pro wrestler and I've got a category here called situational conflict. And the first one is coming out. So I could just the top of my head, um, have a story about a pro wrestler who's in, of course, a very macho, masculine, uber masculine world. And he's sort of a closet gay homosexual and he's trying to come out maybe to people in the locker room or maybe to the fans. And just by using this method, I've come up with a pretty viable story idea that could definitely uh, be turned into a script. So I'm gonna write that down. So now I've used that coming out um, a version. If I can't think of anything else that clicks with that, I'm gonna take it and drag it to the very bottom of this situation conflict list, just so I don't use it again the very next time I come to do this. So again, I'm gonna stick with Pro Wrestler and we've got broken down hitchhike, that's kind of interesting. We've got bag of drugs as a object or a belonging they may have. So immediately springs to my mind, a pro wrestler who's been using some sort of steroids, or I know a lot of them use painkillers because they're constantly on the road. Um, so that could be another story about a uh, wrestler who's struggling with a drug addiction. So I'm gonna write that down. And now I've written that down again, I'm gonna take that uh, element and I'm gonna just drag it to the bottom of the list so I don't use it again straight away. And then let's uh, try one more. So we're gonna stick with Pro Wrestler and just going across the columns here, we've got locations, we've got genre, 
genre a rom-com might be quite interesting so a pro wrestler in some sort of romantic comedy i can imagine uh being interesting and now that feels kind of bare bones at the moment so sometimes i might use a third element to sort of help me out so i'm just looking across and i'm seeing photo in a wallet so that makes me think maybe the pro wrestler has a, an estranged child in their life that they're sort of been neglecting because they've been on the road and it's a romantic comedy so uh, maybe it's about them finding a new person in their life um, which then gets them to remember their long lost daughter i'm now realizing this is darren aronofsky's the wrestler film um but that's fine i can i can keep going um, but you can see the idea of if i've got uh, something that's not quite there i can then use another element to help me out so i'm going to spend just three minutes now trying to come up with another three ideas to complete the five ideas so there you can see i've now come up with five ideas and generally this practice is that the majority of them will either be slightly cliched they might be something that you've watched before read before or they might just be horrible <laughs> but that doesn't matter because it's the idea of practicing this brainstorming muscle um, over and over in your head to get the muscle going. But there will be times um, when you write something uh, that you do like, and that's where we can take this. So for example, I quite like the um, pro wrestler struggling to come out in the 80s. So I'm actually going to copy this, and I'm gonna come down to the premise list and just add it to my premise list here. And now this idea that I came up with on this particular day has now been saved in my premise list as something that I might potentially want to turn into a project later. And I can even do that straight from here. I can create a project from, from straight from this box. So I might say um, tough, tough love, something like that is the uh, name of the script. And now my project's ready to go with that initial premise tagged to it. There's other writing exercises that I haven't gone through in this video, but just to give you an idea, we have any inspirations. So this is the books, films, TV series that you've been uh, consuming. Um, I have an area for sources, so any sort of news clippings that you might be getting from the internet. And then across you can see we've got journal entries, I've got a, a database of writing exercises. So this is really a one-stop tour and an all-in-one dashboard to help you come up with new ideas. So there it is, there's my brainstorming tool inspired by the wonderful Eric Bork. Again, the link down below is in the description uh, where you can access the template. Uh, and if you like this template, I also have a Notion for Screenwriters bundle, which including uh, this brainstorming tool has a habit tracker, it has a screenplay planner, it has a competitions dashboard amongst a lot of other things. And if you found this uh, video useful, please do consider um, liking it and subscribing to this channel. Um, it really does uh, help. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.